Ladies and gentlemen, Gungans and droids across our beloved empire, welcome to Arnold Hollownet News, the only news you'll ever need because you have no other choice. And my gosh, even though it's the weekend, we actually got important breaking news and I'm sure an EA executive is fuming right now when they're having their yacht party this week. And I think Luke Skywalker is gonna get a little bit of action if you know what I mean. In the upcoming future, it looks like Mira Jade, cat's out of the bag. It seems like she is coming. The Star Wars Galaxy Heroes miscommunication between CG and some other arms. I mean, <laughs> what else is new? Let me show you what's going on. And we have an exclusive reaction with George Lucas talking about Mira Jade coming to Star Wars Galaxy Heroes. Let me first show you where the source is coming from here. Mere moments ago, it looks like the iOS app store kind of got a little excited and jumped the gun. This is going to be a big deal. In case you guys don't know who Mara Jade is, basically she's more famously known for being Luke Skywalker's life. Of course, not canon, but in Legends she was, and she had a lot of affiliations, which is going to lead to a lot of speculation. If she is coming indeed, like this is saying, what is she going to be affiliated with in Galaxy of Heroes? So here we go. I mean, this isn't too uh, out of the ordinary. You know how many times we've gotten confirmation of characters coming through the iOS app store, through Google Play, through uh, the Lucasfilm, or through the StarWars.com website? Miscommunication on CG's part, it seems like here. But let's read it straight from the iOS app store under trending. And I think I kind of have an idea of what happened here. Legends return. Star Wars Galaxy here is adding Mara Jade, Starkiller, and three other beloved characters from the franchise's comics and games. It's part of the sixth anniversary celebration. Also offers a conquest easy mode and a free gift for everyone. So here's my suspicion on what happened. They obviously have all the characters planned out. They may have originally wanted to open up with Mara Jade because I would think out of a lot of these Legends characters, she is the most anticipated perhaps among fans that love Legends content of Star Wars. But maybe they start off with Dash Rendar, which is cool in his own regard, but I don't think he's going to be the more anticipated fan favorite character. But they probably maybe said, all right, let's save Mara Jade for last. Maybe they forgot to let their other partners know that, hey, we're changing it. Say it's Dash Rendar first and Starkiller and three other characters here. So uh, before we get too caught up with what I'm thinking about this, uh, George Lucas had an exclusive interview uh, with some CG devs about Mara Jade, and this is what he had to say to the CG devs. Can we turn uh, it on? As the creator of uh, Mara Jade, you... <laughs> Wait! I am not the creator of Mara Jade, and I want you to get out of this office right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Zan. No way! You brought no it on way! Your, you brought it on yourself. I don't want you here. Get out! I'm so out. sorry, George. Get him out, Lucas. Lucas! There we go, show him the door. Out. And that is so extra. Who needs a mechanical door? You couldn't just open it. <laughs> out! <laughs> I love this clip. Anytime the topic of Mara Jade comes up, that's the first thing that comes to my mind. If you want to know more about Mara Jade, I highly recommend just look at her up on the interwebs. There's a big in-depth history breakdown on Mara Jade Skywalker. But really what I want to bring to your attention, I mean, really the first paragraph is the most important thing to read about her. But to kind of get to the point pretty quickly here, look at her affiliations. Galactic Empire. She was the Emperor's hand at one point. Smuggers Alliance, New Republic, <laughs> New Jedi Order, Galactic Federation of Free Alliances. So and one thing about Legends characters, we're kind of seeing a thing. A lot of these characters have such big story arcs, which makes their characters really cool, not so linear. Like a lot of the canon characters that we see nowadays come out of Disney. I mean, we talked about Kyle Katarn a while ago and how he was kind of Empire turned mercenary, turned rebel, turned Jedi. And Kyle Katarn and Mara Jade had a brief interaction. At some point, as we see her, she was an apprentice. Uh, I'm sorry, she has. She was. She was a man, an apprentice to Kyle Katarn at one point, as we talked about in our video about a week or so ago, predicting what characters are coming. So this is a big deal character, and especially Luke Skywalker. Oh, this could be huge! Not just for fans getting a fan favorite character, but in terms of the game, we've already did a Dash Rendar initial review. Card at the top right hand corner. He's a fantastic character for mostly prepared crew, but he works with all types of scoundrels out there. I love the character so far, and I think he's, he's got a much bigger future down the road with all the other future scoundrel characters coming. But once you start getting into the Jedi faction, which I, my prediction is Mara Jade, she's more famously known being the Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker's wife, being a Jedi. I have a feeling if she does come to the game, she's gonna be a Jedi. Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker Sinji, one of the best characters in the game right now. Ooh, and then Jedi Luke Skywalker working a Jedi Master Luke Skywalker, putting Mara Jade in there. This could be quite the character 
to have. This fits our theme. Remember our theme, our updated theme after we got confirmation. It's not just video game characters. It's more Legends video games and comic characters that are coming in the next few weeks here. We kind of speculated afterwards saying, all right, it seems like they're adding characters from Legends that are going to bolster certain factions. Ash Dark Scoundrels, Mara Jade can help the Jedi. I don't think they need the help. I'm still predicting Kyle Katarn is going to, I mean, it just seems like it's going to happen. We are kind of in that vicinity right there. And we were kind of throwing the idea of a rebel fighter out there. I can't imagine them adding two Jedi to bolster them. So I'm going to say, let's take Kyle Katarn as a rebel fighter. I don't, there's a lot of things that could be in the fourth slot. I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to kind of predict what's to come in that fourth slot. Uh, so you guys can throw that out there. But overall, this could be a pretty big deal. I don't, again, I don't think they're going to do duplicate characters for, I mean, duplicate tags for all these upcoming characters that are coming to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, but I, 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 I wouldn't be disappointed if, you know, they wanted to add the the Imperial tag from Lara Jade and throw her in there. You know, I, I hear that Lord Vader's looking. He's looking for extra company. I mean, they're, they're in, like, I guess in Legends, they're they're kind of, it's, it's, his, it's what's, what's what do you call it? It's, uh, it's, her, it's his daughter-in-law. So, you know, I, I wouldn't be too disappointed if they go down that route there's a lot of different takes that they can go here and i'm just hoping at the end of the day no matter which route they're going with mara jade i hope they put him in a faction that could use the extra help like dash Andar had brought to the scoundrel teams out there Ooh. man this is gonna get a lot a lot a lot a lot of people excited so you guys let me know down below. Quick little mini update right now. I have a feeling you CG, they're probably gonna be a little disappointed that this may have been, if I had to guess, out of all these Legends characters, this may have been their really big marquee announcement. And the cat's out of the bag. There are a lot of other great Legends characters out there that are gonna be very excited when they come out. Again, we now we know two. I don't know if Mary Jane's gonna be the next one coming, but I have a feeling she's gonna be probably, they're in, probably they were, she was anticipated to be the last one to come out there. So this is the big surprise. I think for marquee characters that are coming to Star Wars Galaxy Bureau. So you guys let me know down below. Dash Rendar, Mara Jade, Skywalker. Oh boy, if she does have Skywalker direct synergy, like how Dast on Revan have it. That's gonna be a big deal. You guys let me know what you're predicting for the next few characters that are coming out there. That's two down, two more to go. I'm putting my lifeline on Kyle Katarn. The last one I think is really up for debate on what can go out there. So like, comment down below, and subscribe so you're not missing a thing. Hopefully this is gonna get a lot of people excited for one of their fan favorite characters out there. But until we meet again, ladies and gentlemen, just always remember, it's great to be in the Empire today.